Are you unhappy? Do you feel exhausted all day as if you have no energy? As if the day has no meaning? And because of this, you strive, you're attracted towards the bad habits. Those things that make you just simply feel something. Junk food, video games, alcohol, going out to pubs. But what do you do when you get to the point where video games and all that kind of stuff starts to become boring? You start to not enjoy it anymore. How on earth did we get into this position and how on earth can we get out? And the reason that we feel like this is because our body's system has been overtaken by instant gratification. Hey, first things first. How are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. So yeah, how do we change that scenario? That scenario was a very real thing for me. I went through that whole thing I explained for a couple years. At an early age as well, you know, I left college so I could go into that nine to five work-life balance. Anytime I met with people, it would just be to go out and get drunk at like pubs or stuff like weather spins. It wasn't a very good life. I went through that sort of dark period of my life and it sucked, it sucked a lot. So how was it that I changed this? And how was it that I managed to stop instant gratification taking over my body system? So where I felt shit all the time. How did I fix that? First things first, we need to understand what gratification is. We've heard about instant gratification and delayed gratification. Well, maybe you haven't, but it's been around. It's basically one of the core beliefs of like self-improvement that instant gratification, bad. Delayed gratification, good. But what even is gratification? Gratification is the brain's emotional reaction to something that's pleasurable or satisfaction. This is something that is generated in our brain's sort of dopamine system. Now, instant gratification is basically the brain's urge to choose that instant pleasurable thing at the expense of the long term. Something that's going to satisfy that pleasure quickly right now however it's going to cost us in the long term and then delayed gratification is basically the exact opposite it is something that's kind of hard to do now that's not pleasurable or any satisfaction to us we may not even enjoy it however in the long run afterwards it is very beneficial to us some examples of instant gratification is basically choosing to spend more time on social media than with family or this thing that I'm pretty sure everyone has done I'm guaranteed like you have done this where you are sleeping and then you your alarm goes on you press the snooze so you can sleep in for five minutes and then you're late to school or late to work that's an example of instant gratification or binge eating a bunch of snacks whilst you're binge watching a series on Netflix or anime not because you're hungry just because you feel like you need to eat when you're watching something or just making a spontaneous purchase decision, which leads to you being in debt. Some examples of delayed gratification is cold showers, going to the gym, reading, practicing and mindfulness, you get the gist of things. Now, what causes instant gratification? Why on earth does our brain seek out instant gratification if it's so unhealthy for us? And it's not your fault. It's not your fault that you're doing all these things. You see, biologically our brains are well humans brains are innately prone to seeking immediate pleasure over any sort of evolutionary pain you know we don't like pain we don't like change it's biological so our brain is kind of seeking that it will get a very strong urge to want to do those instant gratification sort of habits so that's why practicing and delayed gratification is so hard that's why you feel this terrible all the time you know my story that I explained to you at the beginning of the video that's maybe something that is very real to you as well and the reason that is so hard to get out of that is because it's so easy to give in to instant gratification our brain wants it so why not so here's the big question how can I fix my body system how can I fix my body system to not practicing so much an in instant gratification and more focused on delayed gratification fixing my body's dopamine system. How on earth can I do that? And it's by it's by three things that I've done. Your identity, practicing in mindfulness, and reading. These are three things that I did that helped me fix my body's 
dopamine system and actually take back control. So the three things that I did that actually helped me take back control of my system, of my body, of my life. And that was the first one, my identity. Just tell yourself, label yourself as a patient person. Now, after you've done that, like I'm a patient person, even though you may not be, I'm a patient person. Now practice in all the things that would make you patient. Practice in all the things that requires you to focus for longer period times, to practice in delayed gratification. Label yourself as a patient person. When you're aiming to try and change your identity with your actions, you'll very much like try, like a lot. You will really try hard for it. It's like when someone says, uh, for example, when I was making coffees as a barista, uh, my boss, who was amazing at coffee making, she, she said that, oh, your coffees taste really, really good. And this was like my first day in the job and it made me want to live up to her expectations. So I then changed my actions to, I started putting in a lot more effort so I could live up to that identity. It's the same thing with this, same principle. Tell yourself that I am a patient person and try and live up to that by changing your actions. Now, the next one is practicing in mindfulness. There are two things that I have done, meditation and gratitude journaling. Both of these have been hugely beneficial. Meditation practices in sort of like actually in practicing in mindfulness and actually being present in the moment. And it helps you become very, very fulfilled in life and it helps you become more mindful. When you're more mindful of things, you'll notice when you are practicing an instant gratification and you'll become more wary. And gratitude journaling. This is basically just write down 10 things that you're grateful for. If this is the first time you've ever done this, then you can start off with five, but I recommend start writing 10 things you're grateful for. It can be anything. It just makes you way more positive about life. You know, that feeling of emptiness, that life has no purpose. It kind of helps you with that. It makes you way more grateful, way more positive and helps you with a very positive mindset thinking. And the last one, this one actually specifically targets uh, practicing and delayed gratification. That's reading. And I don't mean reading like anime or like some useless information that isn't helpful to you. I mean reading books that's like actually beneficial to you. Books that you're genuinely interested in, but it's also packed with information. For example, Where the Superior Man, Atomic Habits, Wabi Sabi, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. There are loads, loads of different books focusing on mental health, physical health, financial health, and how to improve every single aspect. There are so many books out there. You don't even have to buy them. You can like read them online or like buy an app that like, it's like four pounds a month that you can read all these books online. That's what I do. And genuinely taking your time to read, it's hard. It's hard like sitting down, just spending a couple minutes trying to read a few pages and get really into it. And the reason is because we are so, so addicted to instant gratification that when we actually have to practice anything that's delayed, it's hard and we can't. So that's where our practice needs to begin. Start just reading. Start reading. It's a huge benefit to you and it does help you practice in delayed gratification. If you got to the end of this video, well done. You've just practiced in delayed gratification. You managed to stick to the end. I make these videos boring. I do not pack them with a bunch of editing because I don't want to become part of the problem. Also, I don't know how to edit very well. And I hope this video helped you out. I hope things have been good, man. I hope things have been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. Something from Gears. Mwah.